The 1930s were a dark time in Europe. The Nazi party steadily moving toward the final solution of what they called their Jewish problem. Stormtroopers swept across Germany and Austria, burning synagogues, smashing and looting Jewish businesses. Jewish families quit their jobs, packed up their belongings, and fled for their lives. Many, even most, found there was nowhere to go. Nation after nation closed their borders. On the other side of the world, however, one nation opened its doors. More than a thousand people attended a rally in Manila saying that Hitler had violated the inherent right of every man to freedom, life, and the pursuit of happiness. And to newly elected President Manuel Quezon, it was not a question of whether his country would help, but why other nations did not. Other countries perhaps did not think it that important. I, I don't presume to say. But I know that Dad had the moral courage to do it because he believed in the sanctity of human life and the right of people to live life as they believed they should. President Quezon showed the highest cards when he said simply, it's the right thing to do. In the end, a deal made over poker, bourbon, and cigars would mean escape for over 1,300 European Jews. Most Filipinos are familiar with Schindler's List. Very few Filipinos know that uh, Quezon was in his own way a kind of Schindler. Saying that the Filipinos would be glad that when the time of need came, their country was willing to extend a hand of welcome, Quezon opened his country and even a portion of Marikina, his private estate, to the desperate refugees. And the second mail, we got an announcement, a letter that said you've been accepted for a position in the Philippines. We went to the Philippines because it was the only place that gave us a visa. We were the last train out of Berlin. They, they closed the border. We were able to go to the Philippines and escape that. At that time, we were really free. Manuel Quezon died before his country was liberated. But the link to Jewish freedom was not forgotten. In 1947, the Philippines was the only country in Asia to vote for the partitioning of Palestine, leading to the creation of the State of Israel. In a memorial park outside Tel Aviv, the Open Doors Monument stands in mute testimony to the Philippines, a nation that stood firm on the basic principle of shared humanity, battling hatred with the simple weapon of an open heart.